Grade A bull. I, I can see you are still upset, Ileana. Of course I'm still upset. Caretaker continuously stonewalls us and expects all of us to just go along and make nice. But it never works out that way. You would think she would have learned by now, but I guess not. She should trust us more. If you were to be completely honest with yourself, you would have to admit that you do not trust her either. How could I? She keeps too many secrets. She always has and always will. Distrust only breeds more distrust. Neither Caretaker nor Tony told us she gave the page to Blaze for safekeeping. They should know he's one of the least safe people on the planet. No matter what Robbie says. Now all that stands between this realm and Cathan is that overrated stuntman. <sighs> Entrusting it to him was a mistake. And do you have a better idea to whom we should entrust something of such value? I'd give it to Nico to hold, and if she didn't want to carry the weight of it, I would. And you would be willing to risk your soul holding it? It is said to have demonic effects on its keeper. <laughs> demonic effects? I'm already as demonic as this realm will tolerate. I don't cower from the darkness. I am made from its fabric. I could handle it. <sighs> but alas... They did not give the parchment to me to hold. Blaze has the parchment, and I cannot change that. Let's just hope he can hold on to it. Is Steve Rogers everyone's ideal dad? I see it. You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... Well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time, though, he's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. You talk like that, now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet. And a few other planets besides. Other... Planets? Yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you though, after a while, all you really care about is a nice soft bed. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what. I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. 
Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine, Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. And she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse, Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. Used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance. Until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow, we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. Uh, a private school. Lots of space and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your Abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Sir, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. After some intense combat, I love to unwind with video games. Clash of Hellions, maybe Warman 3. Ninja with a shotgun is a great one. You're looking stronger than... Oh, Hunter, you here to yell at me too? They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower. Or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? Secrets are what give us power, Stark. Guard them with your life. And what do you think the rest of the team would say to that? They all have secrets of their own. Do not let them force you to give up yours. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, uh, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much. Especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genie's at work! <sighs> Gotta get a sign. What are you reading, Nico?
Yuriko? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find the book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. It does seem to be one of the centers of supernatural activity around here. You feel that too, huh? Sometimes when I'm in here, all the hairs on my neck stand straight up. But in a warm and fuzzy, friendly ghost kind of way. Find anything helpful in it? I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathod. Wait, that is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Was this pharaoh's corruption ever purified? Hold up, I haven't gotten to that part of the story. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian disbody self. Sounds like the best possible outcome was reached for everyone involved. Well, not for everyone. So like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No, but the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000-year-old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? It is unlikely that the historical account of the incantation is accurate. Well, I've, I've got to try something. It's not like anyone else has any other bright ideas. Well, I'm gonna find magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. Wow, the books in this place are something else. Did you know that there is an entire section about spiders in the occult? Peter, I am sorry you have to find out this way, but I guess it is time we talked. You're not afraid of spiders, are you? Terribly. But you're Hunter. THE Hunter! You're not afraid of anything! I am a complicated being. Huh. Is the legs? The crawling? The knowledge that the entire spider population can eat all of humanity in a year given the chance? Or is it because there is one just six inches away from you right now? What? Where? Just kidding. It's me. Actually, all this reading got me thinking, and there is something I wanted to run by you. With my spider roots, and the spiders being so occult adjacent, apparently, who knew, I can maybe be a good fit for the Midnight Suns. I'm not asking you to pull any strings for me or anything like that, I just want your honest opinion as a friend. Do you think I'd make a good candidate? Are
Are you sure you want to join the Sons? I always pegged you as someone destined to join the Avengers. Oh, don't get me wrong. The Avengers are amazing. Tony Stark, Doc Strange, Captain Marvel, heck, Steve Rogers. All these people who saved the world at least three times have been great to me. But I'm not sure if I really fit in with them, you know? Not the way I fit in with Robbie. I see. You want to fight alongside your friend. 100%. Well, I am sure you can figure out how to make that happen. One last question. Yes? If I read these books here, I'm not summoning any demons or evil spirits, right? Have you been reading them aloud? No? <sighs> Do not open your door to any knock that sounds unnatural or inhuman, and you should be fine. No inhuman knocks. Got it. Morning, Blaze. Want to do some spirit of vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh, man. I sound so lame. Oof, freaking hopeless. Who are you talking to, Robbie? Sparky? Oh, hey there, Hunter. Um, didn't see you standing there. I was just talking to myself, trying to hype myself up, you know? Hype yourself up for what? If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons, I need to be cool. Seeing him in action made me realize how much I need to step up my game. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real Ghost Rider. And I'm just... Robbie Reyes from East LA. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? Take it as a challenge to yourself. Johnny Blaze created his reputation as a fearsome warrior through his actions, and you can do the same. He's got more than a reputation. He's a legend. And you can have your own legend. Just put in the hard work. Look at me. I'm standing here in the middle of this ancient abbey, surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. It's not like I got that special something you've got. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? I did everything you were doing right now, including questioning myself. It looks like it worked out for you. And it will work out for you as well. Some things take time. Patience. Uh, the world is about to end. I don't think time is on my side. The world is always about to end, Robbie. True that, true that. No excuses, right? That is right. Well, thanks for the heart to heart, or demon to demon, <laughs> or whatever. You've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. That much big asshole energy can't hide for long. You have more faith in our tech than I do. How is the search for Blaze going? Nowhere. The dude has totally gone off grid. Oh, I've scoured every rat hole on the planet a guy like that would be seen in. Monster truck shows, stunt cycling extravaganzas, motocross events, but Blaze is totally MIA. I'm telling you, Hunter, if I have to spend one more hour scanning digital maps for that hot Cheeto, even my super sight is gonna go all squiggly.
Perhaps there is a silver lining in his inability to be found. There is? Because I'd sure love to hear it. Think about it. If the great Captain Marvel cannot locate him, then Lilith does not stand a chance in hell of finding him either. Hmm, good point. But I'd still like to find him. If not for securing the parchment and preventing your mother's gothy Armageddon, then just for the principle of it. I don't like to lose. Well, I'd love to continue with the chit-chatting, but I've got to get back to the most boring manhunt in history. Do let me know when you find him. Don't worry. I'll be so freaking relieved and excited the whole Abbey will know. Come on, Blaze. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You... This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean... Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. Self-pity? That is not you. No self-pity. It's fact. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. If she were here, what do you think she would tell you to do? To stop being so stubborn. That bringing everyone together is long overdue. And that she loves you. Yes. So? What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. Why, hello, Hunter. Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right. It's not far from here. Hunter, hello. Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. An auspicious night, don't you think, Mr. Rogers? Stop calling me that. I can't live up to that name. You know how long this will take? I do not. Why? Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Big news, whatever it is. How can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. After tonight, everything changes. Good. Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. I'm always wary of impromptu team meetings. Why? It's usually when people get fired. You have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. I dislike this. What? She didn't call this meeting lightly. Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. Such a charming location for whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow, nor alter its arc. But if you could, what would you suggest I do? Waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? I should think not. 
So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. I thought there'd be snacks. What a waste of my evening. You know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. Uh, any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. Why do you say that? Hmm, just a feeling. Did she say what it's about? Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh. Whatever it is, it can't be good. This is odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. Good girl, Charlie. Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you are hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. What did you always tell me? Hesitation is a gift delivered to your enemy. It is absolute cruelty to use my own words against me. Especially when you're right. Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Whoa there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the Hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? Every one of us bears responsibility for our failure. Hey, I just got here. Except for Logan. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. And Parker. He is fine. Oh, okay. But the rest of us spend our time at odds. We have accomplished next to nothing since my return. Unless you count losing ground to my mother. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could've fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the Hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? Only if everyone wants me to do it. I can only speak for myself, but you already convinced me. Just like that? It's a heavy responsibility. I wanted to hear you say you're willing to bear it. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us.
This is all so new to me. I will rely on every one of you. Help me do the best I can. I will make mistakes. We all will. But the team is here to hold us steady, no matter if we stumble. Highly inspirational, boss, but let's get down to Vibranium Tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. I can guarantee nothing for the Avengers but the toughest battle they have ever encountered. We try not to rank them. It's more of an above a certain threshold kind of thing. Then I guarantee a life above the threshold until Lilith is back in hell. We can get behind that, right, Tony? Sure. We are all equals here. There is no first among us. We do this as one, or not at all. Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. I would never doubt the capabilities of the Midnight Suns. You know that, do you not? Of course. And we aren't asking for special treatment, just... A seat at the table? Yeah, exactly. Of course you will have that. Everyone will. You have my guarantee. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the Hunter. So, that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I still do not see the point of all this. They're finally thinking of something other than themselves. That was the point. I had no idea this was coming. Kiddo, you have no poker face. For the others to consider you as a leader, your reaction needed to be genuine. Was Steve in on this? No, but he respects you, and I had a feeling he'd speak his mind. If he hadn't suggested you take the reins, it would have been me. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity, and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No. You drain faster than bathwater. So that's a good point, huh? About everyone putting aside their differences and coming together? I had not predicted this. Really? No. Sarah spoke with me earlier. We have a long history of mutual advisement. What advice did you provide? About time. Which was a mistake. She thought I'd presented her with a temporal riddle, as I do on occasion. I'm not there yet, Tony. I could have brought popcorn. For the team? 
No. To watch you turn the abbey upside down and shake it like tambourines. You were more entertaining than anything I could have done tonight. Next time, I'll bring popcorn. Not what I expected. Is that good or bad? Right now? <laughs> Feels good to me. <laughs> There's the Sarah I know. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm happy for you, but I hope it isn't weird when we hang out. Why would it be weird? Huh. Good point. All right. Let's not make it weird. I get what Steve sees in you. Is that a compliment or an insult? Not with him, depends on the week. But for you, it's all compliment, boss. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Now you're the actual boss. And I called it, way before Steve did. I don't know if I agree with everything you said. Still, I'm glad you said it. What do you mean? This is the first time I've felt like I'm really part of a team. Not just Peter tagging along. I get it, we're in this together. But it's good to know that's how you see it. Every meeting should be like this one. Yeah, I guess I can follow you. For now. What are you saying exactly? Kid, don't lose my respect. It's the part of me that won't grow back. Get some rest, kiddo. Hello. You certainly know how to speak your mind. You agreed with me. <laughs> of course not. But you stepped up, you laid it out, and now you're ready to walk straight into hell. Figure I'll be there when you do. Really? Yeah, you're the obvious target. So I'll slip past why they tear you limb from limb. Don't worry, we'll build your bigger mausoleum. <laughs> Always the strategist. Still working out the kinks, but we'll get there. Did you plan this with Caretaker? Nope, it was off the cuff. Don't know why I didn't see it. You're perfect for this. You did not see me as a leader? It never crossed my mind. Most leaders I've encountered in life have a sort of professional ambition, for better or worse. Steve doesn't, but he's also called Captain America. The name alone carries rank and authority. So if I went by Private Hunter... Oh no, don't call yourself that. And I'm not explaining why. I didn't come here planning to put you on the spot, but that's how it turned out. You really think I can do this? I know you can do this. And you have a great team ready for you to lead them. So let's get started. I'm so proud of her. And you, of course. Don't pout. 